Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily. Frank Lampard has called on his players to undergo a mentality shift. The Blues boss, speaking after Everton's defeat at Southampton at the weekend, bemoaned the fact that Everton have turned on two really good performances at Goodison and have massively underperformed in the two away games. And uh, questioned things like, do we need the crowd behind them to make the players play? Uh, did say that he'd... He'd been rather nice since he got here, but maybe it's time to it to change that and some players need to hear some not nice things. Uh, did say he had no magic wand to fix the mentality situation Everton are in. Said he's come into it where it's been an ongoing situation all season, particularly away from home. Uh, he said it's easy for the players to slip back in to those old habits. Said we need to feel a belief in what we do uh, and the only way to solve that will be through hard work. And he's right at the two home games, you know, Leeds and Brentford in the Cup, were two excellent performances by Everton, well worthy winners on both occasions, uh, limited the opposition to very little, total control of both games. And then you see them go away to Newcastle and then Southampton at the weekend and just look like a totally different side. And that shouldn't be the case, it can't be the case where one week, because you've got the home comforts, everything's sound, and you go away where it's a little bit more difficult and you underperform. That is not what professional players, footballers should do. You should be able to play on any on any ground. The, the pitch is the same, the goals are the same, the ball's the same. And it is, it's got to be a mentality thing, and Everton needs to solve it very quickly uh, because we're running out of games, and we're going to probably need to pick up something away from home. It's, you know, August, the last time Everton won an away game. It's an awful record, and uh, hopefully the manager and his coaching staff will be able to sort it. Uh, Everton are hoping to have Abdullah Decore and Damari Gray fit for Saturday against Manchester City. Decore uh, joined in training last week, the, the early part of it, on Thursday, and trained on Friday. Uh, Saturday, obviously, it came far too quickly for him. Uh, he's training with the first team this week, so hopefully... He will be available. He'll make a big difference to Everton's midfield. We've seen that before um, when he's gone out the side. We tend not to win games. Um, hasn't quite been the case in terms of the home games, but away from home, certainly. Certainly as well with Everton playing a two-man midfield. One of them has to be the Corey. Uh, but hope Everton open, he'll be available. And Damari Gray, who should be back this weekend, started training again. Um, we'll have to monitor him as the week goes on, see whether he's had any discomfort. But Frank Lampard hoping to have both of those players available this weekend. Ben Goffrey's a little bit longer, as he said before. But, um, yeah, those two be huge to get back into the squad and get back into the squad for the rest of the season. Uh, James Rodriguez has said that he would rejoin Everton if he was given the chance. Uh, speaking on his Twitch feed, which we got used to that when he was at Everton, uh, a lot of a lot of his most interesting comments came when he was on Twitch. Um, he was speaking about his time at Everton, said about Rafa Benitez, blamed Rafa Benitez basically for the reason why he's not at the club. Said the coach didn't trust me despite me training and working hard. Um, this follows on from Richarlison, who made some comments about James Rodriguez as well, saying that he was surprised when he came back from the Olympics to see how hard uh, James Rodriguez was working. But Rafa Benitez decided he didn't want him and didn't want to count on him. And, and Rodriguez is kind of built on top of that. But said Everton was a, a spectacular club. Um, said the fans, amazing fans. And uh, he would rejoin them if he was given the chance. He also said that he would like to move to MLS in the future as well. There you go. Uh, Everton under-23s won 2-0 last night against Derby County away. A young striker Tom Cannon scored both of the goals. An important win lifted Everton up to seventh in PL2. Uh, David Unsworth um, was full of praise for Cannon after the game. He said, he, we know all about Tom's goal-scoring ability. That's a that's a natural thing that he's got, but he is developing his all-round game at a fast pace this season, so we're delighted with him. Uh, Unsworth also heaped praise on Lewis Dobbin, who said he did everything on the night bar score. A goal said Dobbin was excellent on Everton's right hand side, but good win for the under 23s there. That's it for the Everton News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. If you want more videos, join us on Patreon. The link is in the description. See you later.